Hey, good morning. So, I recently completed this model, um, which is of a F14 Tomcat, 148th scale. Um, it, it, I, I believe it is from the t movie Top Gun, which I have yet to watch, but I am told is pretty good. Um, so I'm going to tell you all a little bit about it. So, first off, the, define, the cool thing about all F-14s, and swing the wings back into full, full, throttle mo full throttle mode, this is how it goes, supersonic, we'll get into the details of that, but there's some cool aerodynamics behind it. Um, and then, then you can see, like, a put some red detailing on onto it, some re red trim, and really close up here. You can see, you can see that it says uh, one fourteen. Lieutenant Pete Bradshaw, wait, Lieutenant Pete Mitchell, codename Maverick, and then Lieutenant J.G. Nick Bradshaw, codename Goose. Um, so, here's what the underside of the plane looks like. Um, So, these four missiles are AM-54C Phoenixes, which are long-range uh, long hyper, hyper, hypersonic missiles up to a 90-mile range. So, so, they have fire and forget, which means you can fire them in the, and then they'll automatically reconnect to where you want to send them. Um, these two are... Hang on, I'm going to include something. These these two, the one, the, the one th th these two missiles are aim 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 nine sidewinders. They're infrared in infrared missiles, so they home in on heat. And then these two on the outside. <laughs> oh. Um, the side, sidewinders have a range of up to five miles, so pretty short range. They're they're used against like maneuvering targets, like like a very fast maneuvering targets. And then these two are AIM-7 Sparrows, the ones on the outside, on the really outside, and they have a range of up to 28 miles, but they must be illuminated by the F-14's radar for the whole of its flight, meaning that you have to stay directly, almost directly behind your enemy for it, for this to work properly. Um, few, few other details about the F-14. It can go up to 1,584 miles per hour which is Mach 2.5, I think. And, yeah, I want phlegm. Um, the jet engines are Pratt and, or, Pratt and Whitney TF-30-P-412As. So there are two of those, and they generate and they generate. What does it say? This uh, it the F-14 has a range of 378 mi miles on internal fuel, and 
It looks like 750 on with, with buddy pods, which are like uh, wing pods, like like like, like little fuel fuel pods that you put on. You carry up to 600 gallons of fuel. So yes, you look in the cockpit there. Then you can see inside it. You know, light. You can sort of see inside. And you put. You can't really see it, but I put instrument panels in there and uh, HUDs or heads-up displays. The cool thing about this is it's absolutely ginormous. So this is 148th scale. And this is a World War II fighter of the same scale that I showcased earlier. It is an FW-156. And so this thing is about 21 feet long. This is closer to 50. But you really, really, you had an even bigger comparison when you put it up next to a B-17 of the same scale. So, the little fighter jet from before could fit into the B-17's wing, or like under it. This is almost as long as the B-17. B-17 somehow is still much larger though. And I, I showcased the B-17 in a previous video as well. If you want to go check that out on my channel. So yeah. Um, so I think that finishes up the video pretty good. Thank you for th thank you all for watching. Please please like and subscribe. It helps helps me out a ton. Uh, and I'll see I'll see you guys in the next video.